At Yale Rugby, we take our player welfare extremely seriously. At Yale, we have designed a baseline tackle test, which each player in both the men and women's program must complete in order to compete in a contact situation during training or in a game. Stage one of this test is around the education of the tackle, where the coach will demonstrate the correct procedures, primarily looking at our body profile and trajectory, our strike, punch, wrap, and complete. They'll practice this in a very light environment with very low intensity. Once this has been completed, they then move on to a static tackle bag. Again, the coach will reiterate the coaching points and the player will look to understand the process of an effective tackle and be able to take it through to a live stage. Before the live stage, we'll be working against a moving target, working on our tracking and making sure that our player primarily are getting their head on the right side and approaching the tackle in the correct way. Once you feel that our players are good enough to get through stage three, they then complete the live tackles, where a player will tackle front on, off his left hand side, and off his right hand side. They'll be monitored and videoed. They'll be corrected. Once a player has gone through that stage and is feeling very comfortable, that player is ready to get out there and enjoy the game of rugby. At stage one of the tackle test, we're looking for our players to have a very strong position in order to be most effective with their strike. Players will have their elbows in, their hands up, ready to box. Their spine will be in line. We want your head to be neutral. So we don't want your head to be down and we don't want your head to be up. You want your head to be in line with your spine, looking through the tops of your eyebrows. This stage is key to get our timing right. So we don't want you striking too early and we don't want you striking too late. So we're working in pairs to find out where our optimum strike is. We're striking with our shoulder and our shoulder only. So at the very start of this, let's get it that we're striking with our shoulder and working on our timing to get the strike right. The timing of the strike. Okay? When you strike, and you come when you strike, it's really important that you thrust through your hips. Here again, it's as you come in, it's a strike and extend. You see that extension? That's all you're gonna do at the start. Key thing to take note of is as follows: we want our spine in line. So again, to reiterate, our elbows are in, we're ready to go boxing. Our spine is in line, so we're not up too high and we're not down low. We're in line, we're trying to work on that strike. So last time, it's a strike. It's all you're doing to start. Everyone clear? Let's go nice and slow. Nice. Make sure everyone's having a go. Is that bad? So again, if you're waiting for that target to come to you, they're the person who's going to have control and you're going to lose that contact point. If you reach too early, or you're trying to superman off your strong, steady base, you're going to strike too early and you're going to lose that point. So that's you trying to work on the optimum time where you can actually inject that strike. So it's a strike. Again, to reiterate, people are out here, weak, shoulders, elbows in nice and tight, getting ready to get that punch in. So we're striking. Yeah, the next thing, Nick, you come. The next thing on this side here, the next thing you want to look at is the punch. Once you have developed a strong strike, the next action is to generate the punch. The punch comes by the tackler. As they strike with the shoulder, they're punching long and trying to nearly grab something behind the back of the person they're tackling. So we're developing the strike punch. We extend the arms past the body and this will firm up your shoulder making it more effective and stronger in the contact. And this will in turn increase your contact power. So again, you've been with your shoulder, that's gonna be the first point of contact, that's a safe tackle. So your head is on the side away from your shoulder, everybody's doing that which I'm delighted to see. Now we're doing is we're actually gonna punch. So, is there a ball there please? Can you grab the ball out? Nope. So what I wanna do is put the ball behind your back. So I'm actually going to try and reach around to get that ball. That's ideally where I want to be. So it's a strike punch. Let's go. So I'm in here. It's a strike punch. Okay. <laughs> I got lucky. 
So my point is, spine and line, you're trying to generate that, that punch. It's tackling, when you tackle correctly, is very, very safe. When you tackle badly is when you lose that confidence. When you get comfortable and you get a really secure, tight, strong action on the tackle, tackling is excellent and it's very, very important to have a safe action. Okay, so what we're doing now is slowly, we're gonna to go to the same strike, except you're gonna punch long as you're trying to reach something behind his body. So what you're doing is you're actually extending that and to add the third point is a hip thrust. All right, we'll start right side. There you go. It's a punch like Superman. You got it. Yeah, right. Don't change your stance. Keep your away. Keep walking. Don't. I think it's just. I, I see the way that. So you're using. Yeah. I'm a little bit closer, Louis. Yeah. Go, go longer with your hands. Okay, so I'm going to ask you firstly, how does that feel? Good. Really good. good. Okay, so what's good about Slow. AJ, what's good about What's good? Uh, I'm aiming for like upper thigh, hip area. Um, what do you notice about the strike? What are you striking with? Shoulder. Oh, shoulder. That's where yeah. you got to tackle with. So, for example, if you look at a lot of the video of us last year, I, f I felt that our defense was quite porous because we got static stayed back and we actually tended to tackle from that base. I know a lot of people have that same issue. What we're looking to do is moving into our tracking when we're going to be zooming to cruising to zooming. It's really important that your first action is going to be launching in with that strike and then get that punch in to really connect that player. All right. Once you have developed a strong strike, the next action is to generate the punch. The punch comes by the tackler as they strike with the shoulder, they're punching long and trying to nearly grab something behind the back of the person they're tackling. So we're developing the strike punch. We extend the arms past the body and this will firm up your shoulder, making it more effective and stronger in the contact. And this will in turn increase your contact power. The last thing we're gonna do is the wrap. So we're doing the exact same process we're just going up to the next level and all we're going to do is, I'm not going to tackle you, all we're going to do is you're going to do your strike, you're going to do your punch like you're doing and then you're actually going to stay there. So you're going to hold me up. Like a... Nice. Now you can just stand up normally. Okay, and I want you to put, say, your hand on your opposite shoulder. What I want you to do is, I want you to just feel how strong or how weak that is. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to crank it up and put it long. You see the way that's tensed? You see the way that's harder? You see that's more powerful? That's why we want you to get to that position, because we want opposition to hit that, and it provides you with more harness, more safety, and a better strike. Does that make sense? Where if you're tackling here, your shoulder's actually very, very exposed. So that's why you want that strike punch, okay? Now, the thing is, you just, you just tackle now, that's a tackle. So it's not gonna get any harder than that with the strike. So when you're playing a game of rugby against the best teams, that doesn't necessarily get harder with the strike. What you now need to do is make sure that your legs are gonna be on the toes, getting ready to approach the tackler or the tackle in the right manner. So again, I'm not gonna tackle you, Nick, but I need to approach him not like an airplane landing, like an airplane taking off. Don't I? Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're going to work in your pairs. You don't need to complete. If you complete the tackle, fantastic. But all we're going to do is work to the same thing, wrestler or a boxer in here, nice and tight. I'm going to work to get my left foot nice and close. Make sense for a left shoulder. Or I'm going to get my right foot up and my right shoulder. I'm going to work on that strike punch. So the only difference is you're striking now, except you're going to do it standing up. Does that make sense? Mm. So you're up here and you're going to strike punch. Make sense? Yep. Alright, let's go into your pairs, get a bit of... Okay, nice stop. Stupid. At the moment, just thing that we really want you to do is make sure that you're not stepping big in this area here. So you're coming in here, you're shortening up your steps, so you're able to punch through the tackle. Let's get more of a punch and a strike in. Go! Oh, good, Johnny. Mind you, mind you. Good, good, good on it, on it, on it. Good. On the ball! <laughs> Locked. Just like you're passing.
So that actual, that little bit of emotion means that if the tackler goes, your toe is tight. Good work, go. Brian. Good work. Good, Derek. Good, on the wall. Good, pick it up. Put it back in. Good, and up and on. Good, get it in. Ready. Now, nah, we're losing our accuracy. ourselves in the back. It's got to get a hell of a lot better than this. But I'm talking about that process. Does everybody here understand the process and the reasons and mechanics for doing this? Yeah. That's all that matters. Let's keep going. <laughs> now Luke, I need you to go one side or the other. That's not a straight tackle. AJ, fantastic. Go. Shane, I'm so happy with that. Much better at the contact. Go. Well done, Philip. Needs your lower body. That's all. Go. Is that Louis? Well done. He's only in high school. Louis, he's only in high school. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. Don't uh, one little thing. One little thing. A couple of people, listen in. A couple of people are kind of leaving here and they're going in a little bit early and losing that strike like we talked about. It's that timing. If you're against a good player, he'll step you. So you've got to chase your legs in and get the strike timing right. Okay? Go! Badger there. Yep. Amy to the right to the other side, okay? Left shoulder right, right shoulder left. Punch him, punch him, strike punch. Screw him up. On. Go! Ball into the hand, Derek. Well done, Luke. Go! Is that a badge? Pick one. Oh, oh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One side, the other. And let's get that punch going, okay? Yeah. Let's go again. Stay low. Spine in line. Spine in line. Oh, punch. Make sure your hands aren't so wide. Keep your hands a little narrower. Go! Lower body, Scotty. And go again. Go again. So, everything is great. Once you make that impact and you're punching, chase, lower, low, chase your feet through the tackle. Get them up off, one leg even. Get them one leg up, okay? One leg up, one leg up front. Go. There we go. There you go. Go, one leg up. Scotty, why are you doing the jump? It's been a while. Go. Oh, no. oh, like, it's, oh. Oh. Woo. Dinger. Woo. Ding dong. <laughs> Go. Oh, that's a good one. Good. Oh, nice. Keep your arms in tight. Arms and elbows in. Elbows in. Derek, elbows in, hands up. Go. That's for eating our food, Theo. Huh? Go. Go. That's for our Too much shoulder. Get underneath them. Get the shoulder. First point of contact. Strike punch. Go. Strike punch. Good strike punch. No, you didn't wrap, didn't chase your legs. Go. You suck, Nate. Go on. Woo. Nice. Go. Go, Dennis. Go. Good. Right. Last three. Go. Let's wrap him. Let's wrap him. Wrap him. Go. Go. Put him over. Good. Good trap. Super. All right, listen in. That means like, and um, that's Ross's you know, area, of, particularly around our, our defensive system of how we're going to actually like rush to kind of, so we're kind of wide with our stance then we've got to narrow everything so we're able to move quite quickly. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's nothing worse than coming up with big strides and then we <coughs> easily move one way or the other. So what are our take home points? How do we feel about that in the tackle? Okay, more solid? Okay, anybody do anything that they felt really worked for them? Of the new things that we did today, is there anybody that something that you did that really felt worked? The tiny feet thing is great. Okay, good. Getting the feet in, like if you're tackling off the left shoulder, left leg, yeah. it's so much stronger. Okay, anything else? Really looking at where you're going to tackle before yeah. you tackle, to so like trace the hips and then go for it. Yeah. Okay. Track better. Anything else? The quick feet before you tackle. Quick feet before you tackle. Flat anything back. else? Flat back. Flat back, yes. That means like we're not arched, we're not in here. It's lovely and flat, and you're looking through the the eyebrows like a scrumging point. Anything else? Thinking Just about the time so that you're not. Superman. Yeah, exactly. So does everybody know what he means by Superman? Yeah. It's kind of like just leaning in from here 
If you're going to be static here with your feet and try and tackle, you're going to be tackling with your arms, you're going to be weak. And that's where, as Nathan says, having your feet nice and low, hands in, getting in closer, is going to make you just much stronger in that contact point. That's really, really impressive. Another good stage. Better than spring. All right. Uh, let's over, grab some water. We're going to split for 20. Back some meat. How do you feel about all the, all the work today, man? Oh, it was great, you know. You get some good examples out there. Yeah? Slowly progress upwards. Okay. Always a good time. That's good stuff. 100%. Good to hear it. Yeah.